Welcome, Traveling Spoon. Thank you. Three minutes on the clock. <laughs> Three, two, go. Hi, my name is Ashley Vale, and I'm the co-founder of Traveling Spoon. Traveling Spoon is an online marketplace that connects travelers with local and authentic food experiences in people's homes around the world. Our goal is to disrupt the $246 billion culinary tourism industry and to make travel meaningful. We do that by connecting local hosts with travelers to share private food experiences, from homemade meals to cooking classes to market tours in local homes. Imagine visiting the rice paddy fields of Bali and learning how to pound curries from scratch with a traditional Balinese couple, or visiting India and learning to make delicious South Indian dosas with an Indian grandmother. We make these experiences happen. We have a beautiful website that was launched a year and a half ago. You can visit travelingspoon.com today, browse our hosts around the world, and book an experience online. So what's the business model? We take a percentage of every experience that's booked online. Travelers book and pay in advance, and we pay out our hosts at the time of the experience. On a unit economic level, travelers pay about $66 on average for a private meal and cooking class. They book on average for a group of two, bringing our average basket size to about 200. We have a variable commission, but on average, we take a 28% commission, bringing our net revenue per experience to $55. And just to frame that for you in the context of the industry, that's slightly higher than Airbnb's net revenue per experience. We have global presence in over 20 countries, know how to scale our host supply, and already have partnerships in place with Expedia, Local Expert, Viator, TripAdvisor, and others. We have a great team that's backed by a tremendous investor and advisory board, from Eric Blatchford, the former CEO of Expedia and our lead investor, to Nick Grandy, the very first engineer at Airbnb. The thing that I am proudest of is the incredible customer testimonials we receive from travelers who say over and over again that traveling spoon was the highlight of their trip, that they spent three weeks traveling through Southeast Asia, and this was the best experience they had. Of course, we look at it both qualitatively and quantitatively. Our net promoter score measuring travelers' willingness to, con to refer traveling spoon is 77. That's over three times the travel industry average. Most importantly, we are bringing meaningful impact not only to travelers, but also to our hosts. And I wanted to share a story to illustrate this. This is one of our hosts, Deva, one of our top hosts in Bali, who recently came up to me and personally told me that he was so grateful for Traveling Spoon because it enabled him to send his kids to school. The future of travel lies in connecting people like Deva with travelers, and in doing so, bringing meaningful income while continuing to preserve cultural and culinary traditions. We are changing the future of travel. Thank you. Okay, let's hear for travel and food. Seems like a crowd, please. I saw some heads nodding over here. Feedback from our judges. Anyone? Are you in the US yet? Both sides? We will be. We started in Asia. We're expanding to Europe this summer, and our plan is to be in the US in the next couple of years. I can't wait. Thank you. <laughs> what makes a great host? What makes a great host? Someone who is warm and hospitable, someone who cooks good food, who serves it hygienically and prepares it hygienically and lives in a safe neighborhood. So related to that question is just how we bring on these hosts, and that's sort of our secret of how we were able to find quality hosts and scale them as well. And um, we've been able to do that through an ambassador program as well as a regional manager on the ground for cities that we want to scale multiple times. This is one of these things where scale is important. So yep. if I use your service, and I go to a, a city or a town, and I can't find a host. And if that happens twice, I'm going to be like, oh, okay. So how do you scale up to get enough hosts everywhere? Yeah, good question. So we realize that there are some destinations where we need enough, certainly enough quantity and critical mass to do that. We do that by hiring somebody on the ground. So in our test market of Mumbai, we hired a local regional manager, and she was responsible for driving growth 15 times in 14 weeks for a total acquisition cost of $75 a host, which is paid back in their second experience. So for certain cities where we really need to scale, in the similar model that Yelp uses, we have boots on the ground, regional managers who are able to do that, who are locals. 
Is there anyone else in the market doing something similar to what you're doing? Yes, I mean, the food space and the food sharing home dining space has really changed in the last couple of years. And we think about it as um, people on you know, two spreads. So the spectrum on one spread is between people offering social dining experiences, group dining experiences to locals, versus people focused on travel. So some of the competitors you may have heard of Eat With and Feastly based here in San Francisco are largely focused on offering group dining experiences to a local San Francisco audience. We see the opportunity and the value in providing private, cultural, and culinary experiences to travelers and see ourselves squarely in the travel industry. And then the spread, on the other hand, is between a completely open marketplace where anybody can become a host versus the focus on high-quality curated experiences. And there are, you know, foreign competitors out there doing that in an open marketplace. And what I'll say is we are the only ones offering private meals, cooking classes, and market tours based here in the U.S., serving to travelers. Serving travelers. <laughs> I've seen services like this for local travel guides and for local um, experiences, tours, and that kind of thing. Uh, it seems like there should be one service for all of this. So if I'm going to some destination, mm -hmm. there's one service for food and travel, uh, tours and hosts and guides. It would be nice if you could get it all in one place. TripAdvisor? Well, TripAdvisor does recommendations. Right. But okay. Maybe Let's hear it for Traveling Spoon.